Hi again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. If you are new to my channel, I garden in Zone 5A in Northwest Iowa, and I grow cut flowers to sell at area farmers markets. Now today is not a farmers market day, but I do have a bouquet that I have made for a client. So I thought that this would be the perfect time to film a short video for you guys and show you how I wrap my market bouquets. Now there is not a right or wrong way to do this. This is just the best way that works for me with the size of bouquets that I offer. So I currently offer two different sizes of bouquets at my farmer's market. I have a smaller size, which typically is all of the same flower. So lately I have been doing straight snapdragon bouquets of about eight stems. And then my larger bouquets are a mixed bouquet that have various fillers, smaller flowers, and focal flowers. And I wrap both the bouquets the same. The only difference is the size of the craft paper that I use. For my smaller bouquets, I use a 15 by 15 inch square. And my larger bouquets I use an 18 by 18 inch square. So the bouquet that I'm going to be wrapping today for you is one of my mixed bouquets. This is a larger bouquet and I'll throw a close-up picture up on the screen um, but basically as you can see the focal flower for this is a pro cut plum sunflower and then the fillers that I use for this are status and a dark opal basil and then the other flowers that I included in here are some celosia. There's three or four snapdragons. I have some gomfrina, a marigold, a zinnia, and a lisianthus. So I'm just loving how this bouquet came together. It's a little bit of everything, which is pretty much what my garden is right now. So this is the bouquet that I'm going to wrap. Um, I'm going to set it off to the side first. Now the other supplies that I need for this besides my craft paper are a stapler and then some stickers that I have my logo on. And the stickers that I use are a two by two inch circle. So the first thing I'm gonna do is fold my craft paper. Now I have this pre-cut. Again, this is an 18 by 18 inch square. And the paper that I use, I just ordered off of Amazon, so I will link that down below. But I am going to fold my craft paper in a triangle And I fold it so that the corners are offset, just because I like how that looks. So I'm gonna lay it back down, and this is when I place my bouquet on top of the paper. I should also mention that when I put my bouquet together, I kind of shape it how I want it to be visible with the paper. So I put the fillers towards the back and then build my flowers around the sides and the focal flowers are always in the front. I do not want any flowers that are delicate to be in the back because they'll get smashed by the paper. And if you check out some of my videos of building market bouquets, you'll probably see what I when I do this. So now that my bouquet is laying on the paper, I'm gonna take the two outside corners and I'm gonna bring them up together to cradle the bouquet. So I like to place it about where my rubber band is. I want a good stem length sticking out from the paper because that's the end that's going to go in water and I don't want a lot of water soaking up into my craft paper. So then while holding these corners up, I'm gonna grab my stapler and I'll turn to the side so you can see this. I'm going to put the paper in between my stapler and then I'm going to run my stapler down to hold the paper in there and then I'm going to staple just above those stems. So you'll see that's going to hold the stems in place. Then taking the corner of the paper, I'm going to fold it over once and then I'm going to fold it over again and then I'm gonna staple it right at the edge and that's gonna hold that corner in place. So my opening on my paper is pretty wide and that's gonna give the bouquet a nice full look. Now the sticker comes in to hide that top staple. So I'm gonna place that two by two circle right over top of that staple and then that's the finished look for my bouquet. Super simple. So this is how I display all of my market bouquets at the farmer's markets. I display them in the black floral buckets from Johnny's and I typically put three to four bouquets per bucket. And when the client purchases a bouquet, I just put a plastic bag over the bottom so that the water doesn't drip on them. And that's it.
All right, well, that's it for this quick video. Stay tuned for a lot more bouquet making and farmer's markets over the summer and lots of updates on the cut flower garden because it just continues to explode. So stay tuned. We'll see you soon.